What's Judaism have to say about friends? No, not the TV show, come on. From Aish, I'm Sarah, and this is Do You Know It. Today we're talking about friendship. Wanna be our friend? Then hit that subscribe button. The Torah teaches that a true friend is someone who challenges you to be a better person and helps you grow spiritually. Think of it this way. If you only hang out with people who think and act like you, you're not gonna grow. But when you hang out with people who think and see the world differently than you, that's a recipe for a true friend. Take the story of Adam and Eve. God looked at Adam and thought, yo, this guy Adam, he's lonely. So God threw Eve into the mix, someone a lot different than Adam, and it was those differences that made them best friends, and eventually friends with benefits. The point is not to look for friends who are totally unlike you or who you have nothing in common with, but to realize that the purpose of a friend is personal growth and that it's your differences with someone that make this all possible. The sage's advice on friendship is summed up by the phrase, buy yourself a friend. Now, before you go look for a friend on Amazon, think about it. Just as you'd carefully research an item and read a bunch of reviews on it before hitting that buy button, Judaism suggests you do something similar when evaluating a friend. But what are you looking for exactly? Common interests, shared friends? Those things are nice, but what you're really looking for in a friend is someone who possesses qualities and experiences that you can learn from and that inspire you. By buying a friend, you invest in a relationship that will enrich your life and support you on your path towards becoming the best version of yourself. If your best friend told you that they did something truly not good, what would you respond? How would you respond? Or let's put it this way. What are the limits of your commitment to a friend? Are there any? The Hebrew word for friend translates to attached or joined. So bouncing off that, a true friend is someone whose love is unconditional and who will be there for you always. What is love? In other words, the very foundation of friendship is loyalty. A friend who is only there for you during the good times isn't really a true friend, are they? But a friend who is there to support you, who helps you get your life back on track, no matter what, now that is a true friend. Imagine you're at a party and someone asks, how many friends do you have? You might respond, uh, a lot. But are all those people actually your friends? Probably not. <clears throat> Many of those people are more like acquaintances you've collected over the years, like connections on social media. While they might be there for the occasional text, like, or comment, they lack the depth and strength of a true friendship. A true friendship must be nurtured and maintained through deep and meaningful conversations. And seriously, how are you gonna do that if you have hundreds of them? So ditch the quantity and focus on quality. You got a friend in me. Seek out that friend who you rely on when times are tough, who challenges you to grow, who encourages you to be the best you. As the sages say, the more meaningful and spiritual a friendship is, the longer it will last. Now that is a bestie. I'm Sarah, and from H, this has been Jew Know It, a series where we tackle questions big and small about Judaism, even the ones you're too afraid to ask. Hit that like and subscribe button to follow along and drop a comment with what topics you want us to cover next. And if you love what we're doing and would like to see more videos like this, consider making a donation through the link in the description. Bye, friends!